All right, we're going for the first test drive. Just uh, fired it up. The ambient air temperature right now is 18 degrees here. And right now my manifold air temperature is 20 degrees. So we'll do a little test drive and see what the uh, temperatures are like throughout the drive. And I'll see, you know, I'll give you my seat of the pants dyno performance report. Okay, we're about to get on the highway. Uh, truck is up to temperature now. I'll just give you my seat of the pants dyno impression here. I've noticed that uh, the boost under low RPM has been a bit better. I'll just let these cars get by me here. All right. So what I've noticed is uh, when you're down at idle and not going through, you know, on the highway with lots of wind through the intercooler, the temperature right now is sitting around like 32 degrees Celsius uh, when you're like low speeds. But as soon as I pop back on the highway, you know, instantly I can see it drop back down to like 28, yeah, 29 degrees right now, you know, speed up to 100 and the temp's going right back down. And even when I, uh, even when I give it some gas, you know, 30 degrees. So it only went up a couple degrees when I'm under boost. Still 30 degrees. I'd be interested to see what it is, uh, like going uphill with a load, like with the camper on or something. But right now I'm pretty impressed with the temperatures and overall the boost conditions seem to be, uh, they seem to be higher just as you're driving around. So like, you know, under no load right now, I'm at like one PSI, whereas before I would be nothing. So far so good, very impressed. All right, so I've noticed that the temperatures drop even more. It's down to like 26, 25 degrees, and the ambient temperature is probably around 20 degrees. Um, so it does a great job. I've also noticed that the whistle on the turbo seems to be a little bit more prominent. So that's probably the, uh, the bump up in the uh, boost tube size, as well as the 24 valve intake, just allows that air to flow through better. Um, now keep in mind too, the diameter increase of the tubes overall and I'm still seeing higher boost numbers um, which is impressive because there's more volume to fill and boost is just the resistance of air to flow because it's just pressure right so there's more air air and volume for the compressor to fill up and it's still giving me higher boost numbers so very impressed temperature now driving at about 50 kilometers an hour the ambient air temperature is currently 16 degrees all right I'm about to turn on to the on-ramp of the highway Temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. 60 kilometers an hour. 70 kilometers an hour. 70 kilometers an hour, 1500 RPM. Three hundred 
RPM, 108 kilometers an hour. RPM 75 kilometers an hour. again uh, we're up to temperature the ambient air temperature is sitting around probably 20 degrees and right now sitting at idle uh, the intake air temperature is 30 degrees so as we get onto the highway uh, you're gonna see that intake air temperature drop back down as we get up to speed Right now we're pretty much at ambient temperature, which is insane. 